I would like to invite them on stage right now. Can you all please join me on stage? Hello to everybody. Namaste. I'm really happy to be here with you today. Thank you, uh, so, uh, Hasma and Sangita, for your invitation. Uh, it's a real pleasure. I'm Cécile. I've been working for Decathlon for nine years. Hello, everybody. I'm Steve. For anybody who's watching from distance, uh, just to give a, a, a brief intro. Uh, so, 18 years in uh, Decathlon. Thank you, Steven. So I'm Michel, and first of all, I would like to thank you, Sangita and Hamza, because thanks to you, I had the opportunity to eat my favorite Indian food, which is the <laughs> dal makani. So thanks a lot for that. I had also the chance this morning to meet a, a very nice team in the store of Kelgaon, led by uh, Carol. said, if I have only one KPI to look, to see, how the store is doing, at which KPI will I, will I look? Team. Which one? Team. Yeah, but which, which one about the team? Happiness. Yeah, and how do you measure the happiness? You say it? The smile. So, Carol. Share with us uh, what is coaching and why coaching? As you just said, for me, coaching is taking care of the person. But more than that is taking care of the person in front of me with no intention for him or for her. Just being present beside him or her, listen to him or her, and um, pay attention to what or she can say in the active uh, verbal way or non-verbal way? I mean, I, I think, and I, I look back um, at the, the, what the, the 18, 20 years I've had in, um, in Decathlon, and um, from what I've seen really uh, in coaching or when I've had somebody who's focused on myself, um, it's, it's, it really is, to, to say some, something similar, kind of a posture which is, is different, you know, and I think, in the early days, if I look at how I uh, developed and grew, I made many, many mistakes, and I think we, we do every day, you know, and I've seen certain postures from certain people, um, uh, which really helped me to come up uh, with the decision myself, you know, and to uh, really uh, create the right environment or the right conditions so that uh, the answer is there, but it's, it's not somebody telling you the, the, the answer. Um, so I think uh, the way I try to coach is to, uh, when we're focused really on, on the person, is to, uh, is to change that posture, which I think it, it is quite hard sometimes, you know, we're, we may have been brought up to be uh, very primary, to have that finality, to want to get the, the KPI, um, but to, to change that posture is, is, is really what a true coach is for me. Is it compulsory? He's not on the pitch. He's not playing with you on the pitch. It's not on the pitch. And why it's important that it's not on the pitch? Okay. Executes what has to be done. Yes, you are in charge. So why it's interesting to have somebody out of the pitch? You, you say it, huh? you, you say something huh? which is linked to that. Because somebody out of the pitch has a view on what you are doing, which is different from the view you have. So why, why that uh, discussion of point of view is something which is interesting? Why it's good? Who is thinking that one is enough? Okay. Ah. <laughs> good answer. Okay. So you need, so you need to f to find the right person, or the right person needs to find you. Oh, okay. So it's a contract between two person. Very good. Who is in charge of uh, who is in charge of making it happen? 
No, yeah, but uh, only one. So who is in charge? The coach or the coach? The coach. Coach, why? It's your coach. It's your, it's your coach. The coach has the right to. Very good. Now, how many of you you have a, a real coach? <laughs> Don't say that. It's not a critique of your coach. Huh? I think it's very important to look at that. Because as you have said, the definition is something interesting. Cecile is my coach. And uh, you said exactly the same. You said that I am your leader yeah. and Miguel is your coach. Why do we believe it's important to separate? I had a fantastic coach. I had Mathieu Leclerc, chairman of the company, as a leader coach, blah, blah, blah. So why have decided not to follow that route? Your leader is on the same pitch as you. His, your, uh, your decision within your perimeter, he's involved in that okay. quite directly. Yes. Whereas your coach is a third person looking from another point of view. Exactly. So it will make you uh, stronger. Like a Roger Federer. Look, look at the ecosystem around a guy like that. He has been selective about all the people around him because he wants to be the best in the world. So it's about coaching. It's about le leader, coach, referent, and the others. Why we have decided to implement that at Decathlon? Why we have decided to divide? Exactly the contrary of what we are looking at. So average on average. And you did it like that. Average on average, what, what, what we create in addition? Players. Yes? Hierarchy? Pyramid? What else? Layers. Layers? Hierarchy? So subordination? Subordination is correct? Yes. Do you want to be the subordinate of somebody? Exact. If you are the subordinate of a responsible, it means that you are not responsible. So if you are responsible, you are not a subordinate. You are in charge. And you should fight to be in charge. So, so if you are in charge, why do you need somebody to tell you what you should do? No, you don't need that at all. You are in charge. Does it make sense? So if you are in charge, imagine how much layers you can remove, how you can get rid of the, of the subordination, how you can get rid of, of the pyramidal organization. We don't need that. Much better to um, use people to open new cities, new countries, to develop new sports. So the fact that we split the responsibility, coaching being one, is also a mean to give more power to the principle of responsibility. And for you, Michel? In my relationship with Cecile, I appreciate the fact that she's asking me the right question. Because often you jump to the conclusion without spending enough time to go in the diagnostic. So the fact that Cecile is helping me to ask first the right question is helping me uh, a lot. When we were supposed to do what we were calling an IDM, decision meeting, some people were not doing it because they were thinking that it was about control or people, some people telling you some orders. So people were, when they were able to uh, not to go, they were saying, oh, I don't do it, but it's a contrary. It should be a gift because it's for ourselves. And my feeling is that today, with that kind of organization, the quality of each relationship is much better than before. So I'm much, much more inclined to do everything and to give time to everything because of the quality of it. I don't, I, don't, I don't think so that, um, for me, if you, if you believe 
that the leader has something to see with your performance means that you are not in charge. If you are in charge, your performance is your performance. And the performance of your leader is another performance. The role of a leader, the role of Steve, and your role in India, will be complementary. If each of you, you are responsible. If you are responsible of the same thing, one of you is not responsible. with your leader and your meeting yeah. with your coach in order for us yes. to have a clear picture of that. And what I wanted to say then is that <laughs> I have points with my leader about uh, my objectives and uh, my uh, tasks, my missions. I have also other meetings with my coach, um, monthly meetings, where I can debrief uh, my feelings, my problematics and so on. And then at the end of uh, last year, I had my uh, annual meeting. And my leader says, OK, Cecile, again, you will tell me, you will tell us how you want to leave this annual meeting. It's for you, so it will be your decision. And whatever, we will try to make it uh, as you want, because uh, it's, uh, we will be there for you. And, as and maybe you can break the wall. You can imagine your store without walls. Reason why I like sport and city. Because if you think the store without the wall, maybe you will reorganize yourself in another way. And you will split the responsibility in another way also. Today we are store centric. So we, tr we put everything in one store, or we try to put everything in one store. But why? If, if we think that we could become user centric rather than store centric, Maybe you can play the game differently at a city level, for instance. So you can dispatch the responsibility about the sports and the coaching and the leadership in a different way also. So the city, I think, could create some uh, opportunities from my point of view. You know, in, uh, when you all shared in the beginning, especially you, Sissy, you mentioned something about not having intentions. So when you all are talking, this it's constantly coming to my mind. And uh, Sabrina just spoke of young teammates also coming in. So how is it possible or is it really easy if you are a coach of someone to not have intentions for the other person? Is it natural? Is it something that... If you consider that the person is a subordinate, you will, you will have intention for the person. If you, cons if you consider that the person is a responsible person, I for sure, when you, you, you start, it's different than uh, when you have been doing the same thing for 20 years. But all of us, uh, we have started. And before being black belt, you are white belt. But question yourself, is a white belt less capable than a black belt? When you think at it. Maybe at the beginning, the white belt will, will lose. But me, I've been doing martial arts during years. And I know what is happening. Often, the students, they become better than the master. So if we think like that, we think you see the, the, you see the potentiality of the person from the day one. And you see it because you make the person responsible. If you feed the person, if you have 10 people, and you feed them, if you put your intention on, on them, in fact, they are you, or a pale copy of you. Don't do that. We want them to be themselves. Let the nature do, do it. It's much better, and people will learn. Not everybody has to be a coach. If you don't like it, if you are not good at it, why will you do that? For the sake of what? No. Me, I'm not a good coach. I coach two, two person because they are, uh, you know, uh, kind enough to accept me as a coach to try to uh, put in place wha what I'm learning from my coach. But I've uh, only taken two because I don't want to do more damage. <laughs> you know? Uh, if uh, after the change in organization, we still feel people are 
not able to come off the managing uh, mode exactly. Uh, so if they are not able to adapt, what exactly do we do with such people or the teammates, sorry? I, I like it's it. basically what in, you say. In your country, in your country, um, Gandhi was saying something I like a lot. I've put that in, the, in my signature. Be the change you want to see in the world. So do it. You don't care about the people around you. You do it. It's too easy to say that I don't do it because this guy or around it's complicated, uh, it, it won't work. No. Do it. I'm not sure that is the right word to use in this context, but hmm. if each of y'all individually could pick three qualities that we should seek out while finding a coach, what would those three qualities be for each of you? While finding a coach, if I had to choose... P passionate first of coaching. Trust. In the person, I'd say a, a good listener. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.